Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Bit Glenn. My name's Glenn, and I like to share with you what I learn in the world of cryptocurrency as I go through it. So before we get into today's topic, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that's been smashing the like button, subscribing, adding me on Telegram and on Twitter. I really do appreciate it and I can see the growth going on. Obviously, this spurs me on to keep providing you guys with more and more content. Now, as you guys may know, I'm currently trying to renovate some properties, which obviously are part of my new business that I started up probably a couple of months ago, which I set up a couple of months ago. What this means though is that I'm really busy sort of Monday to Friday and at the weekends obviously I'm trying to still have a <laughs> a relationship with my wife and kids and also friends and family so I'm trying to cram that all in and where I can obviously I'm trying to still produce these videos for you guys so that this YouTube channel continues to grow. So I really do hope that you appreciate that. And if you do, please smash that like button. If you're new to this channel, click the subscribe button and join Team BitGlen. You can also chat to me and some of the other guys that you see chatting in the live videos on Team BitGlen on Telegram. It's completely free, there's no shilling, no scams. You can also find me over at Twitter on at BitGlen. I was quite lucky to not be one of the people that got <laughs> hacked the other day. So I think it's because I'm not big enough. So you can find me there anyway, and you know that I'm not gonna try and take your Bitcoin away from you. But that's enough of me shilling my social medias. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll be doing a live video throughout the week, probably to show you how I'm getting on with renovating the property. So look forward to that. But to keep it really nice and simple, you can always comment in the comment section down below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can on the YouTube comment section. But that's enough of me talking about how you can get hold of me. Let's get straight into today's video. Hey guys, welcome to the video today. It's going to be a quick one, but I just want to talk about the price of Bitcoin. I know it's a bit of a boring topic at the moment, but I think something big is happening with Bitcoin soon. And I thought I'd share with you guys what it is I'm looking to do going forward. This is not to be taken as financial advice. I offer no technical analysis skills. I'm not financially trained. These are my opinions and thoughts. Please do not use any of your own capital to make Please do not make any trades based on what I'm about to say unless you agree with me or feel the same way or have some evidence that you think price of Bitcoin is going to follow to what I'm saying in this video. Also have an exit strategy in mind. If you're just buying Bitcoin and holding to a certain price, make sure that you see that through and fulfill it when it happens and also don't invest more than you're willing to lose. Don't go putting in your life savings into what may happen in the next couple of weeks. Only invest what you're willing to wake up the next day and realize that it's gone to zero. That's the amount of money that you should be playing about with. Right, I'm glad I got that out of the way because I, I wanted to talk freely, but I actually recorded this video once before and I found myself every two seconds saying, please don't trade based on what I've just said. This is not financial advice. So I thought I'd get it out there nice and clear at the beginning of the video so that there's no confusion. So I'm going to show you my Prime XBT account, which I actually I set up and you guys know that I was actually using the turbo feature. I really like the turbo features, essentially betting whether the price of Bitcoin is going to go up or down within a 10 to 15 minute window. And I've done that a few times on the live streams and also personally, just for a bit of fun. To me, it just feels like gambling on red or black at a roulette table. But what a couple of the guys brought to my attention was, was that actually your profit on each trade that you make on this or gamble, if you like, is 65%. Whereas when you lose, you lose 100%. So therefore, there's a swing of 35% favour uh, to Prime XBT, which is fair play to them. You have to make profit. Otherwise, what's the point releasing this feature? So I completely get it. And I bet 
on this or trade if you like the more professional term uh, with knowing that in mind so a couple of you guys said to me why don't you just do long and shorts using leverage if you're going to be that sort of extreme or reckless using turbo anyway because there's a lot lower fees and it's a lot easier to back out whenever you want you don't just have to do it within a 10 or 15 minute window which is a really good point and uh, i have actually used this i've been playing about with the leverage and the longs and shorts um and the stop losses on prime xbt i really like prime xbt it seems to be quite easy and fluent to use i know some of you out there will say i prefer this platform i prefer that and if you do please comment down below and i'll check them out but for now with the time that i have available to me and how easy this platform is to use i'm sticking with prime xbt so again just getting that out there so we all know where i stand now bitcoin has been trading within the price parameters of sort of 9K to 9,300. And it has been creepily stable for quite a long time. Why do I say that? Well, Bitcoin to me, I've always been used to it going up 5%, down 3%, up 10%, down 12%. And I've seen these sort of price movements all the time. Whereas lately it's been trading and within a 24 hour window and price changing of like 0 0.01, 0 0.07, very, very small amounts. In the stock market, that is quite a common practice, but for cryptocurrencies, not so much used to that. So very, very odd. Now, there have been a lot of news articles and uh, data that would suggest that Bitcoin is due to go up in price, but then also on the other side of that, you also have the bears where there's, they would argue the price of Bitcoin is going down. Now, in the last couple of, I'd say year and a half, whenever my YouTube audience have comment, chatted to me and said, Glenn, what do you think the price of Bitcoin's gonna do? I've typically always said, I think it's going down. I think it's going down, I think it's going down. I've been saying that since about January last year. I, I can't remember exactly. I always thought the price of Bitcoin was going down. When it was at 3,800, I thought, okay, I think this is the bottom. Um, obviously I didn't call it exactly, but when it got to sort of back to four, four and a half K, I thought, okay, I think we're going up from here. But since then, I've been quite negative. I've always said I think it's going back down to where it was. And a lot of the times I've called that true. I've actually, it has been going down in price, typically, if you look at it over a long period of time. You can see there that the uh, peak of Bitcoin typically has been a downward trend but we've been consolidating around this level now for quite a while and if we have a look at plan b's uh, stock to flow model which i did a whole video about if you're not sure what i'm talking about and you think this looks like crazy blue and black squibbles on a on a page go back onto my video about the plan b stock to flow model and i explain it in very easy simple basic terms but essentially every time there's a halvening a few months after the halvening, we normally have some red circles appear, which actually moves over to the right hand side of this graph. And what happens the months after that is that typically the price shoots up to where this black line is on average. So if Bitcoin was to continue that trend, here we are the last halvening in 2020, May, so only a couple months ago. We've had a couple of red dots over here. so. For the last two months, this stock to flow model ratio has stayed true to what Plan B predicted would happen in his model. Now, if the price of Bitcoin does go up from where it currently sits, we are looking in for a wild ride. Uh, you can see the price levels here. So you've got 100,000, you've got a million, 10 million, 100 million. I don't think the levels are going to that sort of extremes, but I do think that we're heading towards 100K Bitcoin, personally. Now, do I think we're gonna get there overnight? No, I don't think we are. But I can see us going from where we're at at the moment to sort of 12K very quickly. I'm talking like within a couple of days. If you look at how Bitcoin rose in price, where it was to obviously its peak in 2017, 
I think that took place over the course of 19 days or something crazy like that. So I can see the price of Bitcoin going from where we're at at the moment, which is very, very stagnant, very unusual for Bitcoin. I can see us shooting up very quickly. And I think that that's heading towards 12K, 12 and a half K personally. And I don't, I don't make bullish Bitcoin predictions very often. If you watch my channel uh, for a while, you'll know that I very rarely, I say, I've always maintained that I think Bitcoin's going to 100K. I've been saying that for about two and a half, three years now. But I've never said, oh, I think this week it's going to be 20K. This week I think it's going to 50K. I've never said that, but I'm being quite firm with this now. I actually think Bitcoin is going to head towards 12K very quickly. Now, what it does from there, it may retrace back down to 10K, it may go straight up to 15K, and then who knows all-time highs. I don't know from that point onwards, but all I know is, is that if you have bulls and bears having this tussle between the price of Bitcoin, whether they think it's going to go up or down, eventually one of them are going to win. And once one of them starts to win, the bears will jump and become a bull, and they'll add to the fire. On top of that, I've seen all these DeFi projects, all these coins pumping like crazy lately, going up 3,000% within an hour and, and 10x in over the course of a week. That reminds me of the ICO phase back in 2017, and there's a lot of money to be made there. Now, imagine if all those people, once they realize that their tokens are well overbought and they're overly priced, at this stage they're at. I mean, I saw a coin that they haven't even created their website properly yet, 30X. Like, that's insane. That's insane. So once people realize that they're overbought, the price of them are gonna drop, not necessarily back to where they were, they, they may increase overall, but everyone's gonna jump back into Bitcoin. And this, again, is gonna add to the fire you've got all the people that are arguing about whether bitcoin's going to go up or down then you're going to get all the altcoins and DeFi projects they're all going to sell their alt positions for bitcoin and bitcoin's just going to shoot up so quick that you'll probably blink and miss it so what should we do at this stage we think that this is going to happen we have evidence that shows that historically this is going to happen and i'm not talking next year six months i'm talking within the next couple of weeks in in the next month or so we are going to see a big movement in bitcoin i believe that's to the upside you may believe it's to the downside if you do please comment down below i'd love to hear your thoughts and your reasonings why that is going to happen so what can we do? I'm using Prime XBT because they have a very easy to use platform. I like to, I've been playing about with the buying and selling of the shorts and longs, and I'm actually going to be long in Bitcoin. If Bitcoin goes down to sort of 9,100, maybe 9,050, I will be putting in a long buy, and I may even use a little bit of leverage, not a lot, I know that this platform does allow you to go up to 100x, which I think is insane. Um, you've got to be pretty on the ball to do that sort of stuff. So I may use either zero leveraging or a very small amount of leverage um, just to boost my profits up a bit. But I think I'm going to be profitable enough as it is because I can see this happening. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. If you do want to sign up to Prime XBT, if you like the look of this platform and you think, yeah, I want to use something that's quite easy to use, good for uh, new beginners into trading Bitcoin, you can use the link which is in the description down below. It is a referral link. You can use that referral link yourself with any friends or family you may have or uh, colleagues through Twitter or whatever. You will be generated a referral link and you can use that uh, to obviously get referral bonuses yourself if you want to. If you don't want me to earn any referral bonus, just search for Prime XBT in Google. I'm really not that fussed. I'm not a huge seller and shiller of these platforms or tokens, as you guys may know in the past. But I did reach out to Prime XBT and I did say to him, look, instead of giving me 
you know, extra bonuses for people signing up. I'd rather give something back to the people uh, that watch these videos. So they have kindly given me a code which is just BitGlen. You can type that in the promo code section, click activate, and what will happen is when you sign up and you deposit your first lot of Bitcoin to this platform, they will give you a initial deposit bonus up to 35%. So that is really cool. If you want to put some Bitcoin onto this platform and you want to start having a play about with trading, whether you think Bitcoin's going to go up or down in price. Again, only invest what you're willing to lose. Be careful out there, stay safe, make sure you're mentally healthy before you go into these sort of things. They can have a detrimental effect on your mindset so just be careful out there i'm just really driving this home so you guys know but that's what i'm looking at doing i'm not a financial advisor so i'm just letting you guys know what i'm doing if you disagree with me let me know you can contact me twitter at bitglen or you can find me team bitglen on telegram or you can just comment in the comment section down below i'd love to hear from you guys don't forget to smash this like button if you like what I've said. Do you think Bitcoin's going to 12 and a half K? I'd love to hear your thoughts. That's it from me, guys. I'm out. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.